What's up guys, it's your man Aaron here. Today, this is a short video, but it's gonna be fun. I've invited Rebecca to here and to smell two of my fragrance. And she doesn't know, she doesn't even have a clue what they are and what they will smell like. So this is gonna be like an initial reaction, the very honest, and I want you to be honest. Just don't be hesitant to say this smells like trash or say this smells gorgeous. I, I just want to eat it. <laughs> Anything. All right. So uh, I have two dry down here. This is the first one on her uh, left hand side. This is another one on her right hand side. Both of them, I'll give you a hint. They will not be very strong, but uh, you can go ahead and smell them. And I will do the opening, like uh, the, the fresh smell. Feel free to give any initial reaction. Even before. I don't like the first one. I don't okay. like this. This one is fine. The second, second one. one. Yeah, I think the second one. I like the second one better. Alright, here's the opening of the first one. And I'm going to do this one. It's going to be very alcoholic because, you know, all perfumes wait, are, so ma wait, are made these of two alcohol. are the same. Yeah, these two are the same. Okay. Just a, this one is a dry down. This one is the opening. I like the opening better than the dry down. What, what do you do? Wait, 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 wait. The opening is more floral. Yes, it does contain some floral notes as what I remember in it. If Can you I want. get a second one? Yeah, yes. that's the opening of the second one. Wait, I need to... <sighs> <laughs> I understand. This one is actually very light, so that's why um, it's not like she's mixing up. It's just that it's, it's very light, so it's hard to smell, especially compared um. to the other one. These two, the opening is very different from the dried. Mm -hmm. But this one, for the second one, they're pretty similar. They're pretty similar? Yeah, except that this opening is stronger. The opening is stronger. Yeah, but they smell the same. They smell alike. Uh -huh. But these two, they smell so different. Yeah, so if I like put you on the streets and I give you these two, you probably will say they, they are two yeah, they are two, two different, different perfumes. Perfume. That's very interesting. Something outside this, but I, I want to mention it. A lot of people will buy fragrance and buy perfume when they just uh, spray it in the store and they say, wow, this smells so good. It has whatever, like pineapple, it has citrus, and I just like it so much. And they buy it. After, after they buying it, they spray it on their self and they go out for two hours it's gone or it's gonna be completely different and that's very common so that's why i suggest you when you have a like a choice go get a sample or go get some reviewers uh, review about it because it's gonna be more honest uh, it's gonna be more direct than your because uh, you you were being subjective to that scent at that moment because you you are ignoring what it, it the dry down is gonna like what it's gonna smell like so overall back to the topic which one you like more? The second one. The second one. It, out of 10, what, what will you give it? Um, the, if 10 being the best one that I've smelled mm -hmm. from your collection. Wait, wait, wait. No, just, just 10 is like overall uh, men's perfume you have smelled. And zero is like the worst um, of the worst. Well, actually... First one is not bad. You change your mind? No, 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 no. I would give the second one a seven and a half. Uh -huh. And the first one seven half. Pretty good score. Probably a four and a half or a five. Four Probably a, a five. Probably a five. Would you like read the, the opening and the dry down differently? Um which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> the the fresher one should be the opening. I definitely prefer the opening. Like I remember, mm -hmm. not that now, but like I remember when I first smelled the opening, I was like, mm, it's better than the dried down one. All right. What can you tell from the note? Like what, what do you think the ingredients are? It's okay to be wrong. Cause I, I will be wrong a lot of times. A lot of lemon. Lemon, yeah. Is it really? Yeah, there is <laughs> lemon in it. Of, yes, the, the freshness, Usually, all the fresh men's perfume, uh, the, the freshness comes from citrus stuff. Lemon, lime, orange, all those grapefruit. Do you tell some floral scent? Like flower? Yes. Um, especially from the opening. Well, very... Not strong, though. I can't remember. 
It's all right. I'll do, I'll, I'll do the opening again as you smell the dry down. It's his birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Do birthday. Yes, they are floral. It is floral. Yes, I think it also has. Well, as what most people say, they think there's pineapple in it. I don't know if you can tell that. Yes, I can see. There is smell. Pineapple, by the way, is a very uh, hot topic uh, ingredients, uh, fragrance notes nowadays. Since the recent five years, it was originally um, the the trend was created by Creative Ventures, which they are the like the pioneer of pineapple uh, fragrance and. A lot of people, a lot of perfumers have chosen to put pineapple into it to make it fresh and unique, different from others. So it's time to uh, review what they really are. And uh, that's... Wait, I haven't guessed the second one yet. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Wait. The thing this, is that... The first one is so strong that I can't really... I'll spray it one more time. And since we have reviewed most of it now, I can tell you this is a clone. So that's why it's not as strong as the other one. The other one is an oily toilet, which is in Chinese is called the Dan Xiang Shui. And oh. the, 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 cologne, okay. the cologne is called Gu Long, which is much lighter. The concentration is between one to five percent. The other one is uh, five to fifteen percent. So now, that's why this one. Wait, better. actually now I like the first one better. You like the first one better. Alright. The okay. <laughs> wait, hold on. The second one now smells like a very high end bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's I, I, I totally get it because is this one comparing to the other one is more aromatic, do you think? Yes. Um, which means more like synthetic, uh chemical, artificial stuff. Uh I mean all perfumes are artificial, but this one that one is more like well blended, right? Yeah. And this one is just like they put a lot of notes together. I originally thought there's some citrus stuff, but it's not lime. And it's not lime because it doesn't have that sour uh, sense in it. Mm, this one is a more like yuzu grapefruit citrus, but yes. even more sweeter than that. This is more definitely more citrusy. Yeah. Is it is it where it's? Yeah, because is this one is mostly dominated by citrus. Yeah. Definitely. The other one has leather, has wood, has floral, a lot of other things in it. Although I check up on the note because this is the last popular one, they they had they say they had cedar wood in it. They say this is hmm. a rich woody fragrance, which I don't think so because I don't smell much wood in it. Although there is just like a little bit. Mm, I can tell there's wood. Now that you said it. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have rosemary in it. Rosemary is a little oh. different than rose, but uh, is is the plant that kind of smells like rose. And you mm -hmm. do tell that from it, right? The, the sweetness is actually blended pretty well with the citrus. So they they are like a citrus, but different than most of the citrus uh, stuff you can smell on the market. Not lime, not lemon stuff. It's now time to review what they really are and she should be familiar with it because she has actually smelled it uh, around 10 days ago so the first one it's what, definitely what, more than 10 days ago and more yeah 10 12 days two weeks all right so <laughs> yeah two weeks <laughs> what what will you give this one this the final score final no change. score okay combining opening and dry down of course I will give most to dry down because that's what other people will smell. Opening is just you. A four. A four? Yes. Second one? Ooh. A seven. A seven. Okay, so she still, she still like the second one more, although she thinks it's more like not that well blended because there's just a something that you don't like about this. No, this is, it smells very common. Like it just, okay. a very... Gentleman smell. No, I just okay. feel like... Not gentleman? I can't... <laughs> Teenage boy? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is like very common. I feel like I can't tell if this is a high end or like just a normal mm -hmm. perfume. This is a normal perfume among all high ends. That's what oh. I have to tell you. Okay. Okay. And the other one? Final, final thoughts? Yeah, it's a seven. It's like definitely not the best ones, but like, 
I like the lightness. Okay, I understand. All right, so I've said this sentence three times, but now it's ready. We are gonna review them. The first one is Jimmy Choo Man, which okay. was the one she 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 originally told me she disliked the most in it. Yes. And uh, as the reaction showing today, it's true. She was being honest. I had, a, I had a feeling that it is this one <laughs> because I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah, I, 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 I intentionally picked this one because I know she's not gonna Guess like it Guess what? Much. I was gonna give a lower score than four. <laughs> yes, I was gonna give it like a two. G but are you a fan like, of Jimmy Choo? Nah, nah. But this, this, it depends. this is definitely a classic smell of Jimmy Choo. Like, if you go into the Jimmy Choo store, this is the smell. And by the way, this one smells really like a uh, Blue de Chanel, if you know it. Uh, Blue de Chanel is like a pioneer of all blue fragrance. was released in 2012 and uh, has created a huge trend of blue fragrance. Everyone is wearing Blue de Chanel, including Lil Ray, do you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, one of the most common men's fragrance. I like it, but I'm not gonna wear it because mm -hmm. I don't just wanna be smelling like the other guy right next Why to me. Why is it called blue fragrance? Blue fragrance is usually, all right, this is another topic, but I'm gonna introduce it since we are here. Blue fragrance are usually kind of fresh, but they have some leather, they have some uh, other things blended into them. So it's different from a pure, fresh, fruity stuff. Usually it's combined by fruity and uh, especially citrus citrus and leather stuff. So that's a blue fragrance, which is the most common fragrance you can smell on the market because it can be used anywhere. You can go to a conference visit, you can go to a, a dining area visit, you can, you can do anything with it. It's just a very versatile fragrance uh, and can be very in day and night, but it's just uh, too common, it's kind of getting boring now. We are going to enter a new era in the 2020s and I believe there will be something else uh, replacing blue fragrance, which I give my prediction is bubblegum. I guess bubblegum will be the new trend. Is, do you know bubblegum? Like very uh, teenage smell, sweet. fresh, uh, a little sweet, fresh, sweet, that, that kind okay. of smell, very playful. All right, so the second one, is actually another one she said she didn't like that much. Yeah. Is the Maximum Blue by Arrow Pastel. Wait, wait, do that. I, I want to do it so badly because I've seen so... Oh my God. This, disregard my nails, okay? This is... Oh, oh my God. I definitely get to do the little thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of them do this, but yes. this, this doesn't actually work on iPhone. The, the, the works on like a, a regular camera oh. instead of iPhone, oh. iPhone sucks. Oh, but I love iPhone, by the way, uh, although it sucks. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's not talk about iPhone. Here is the Maximum Blue Air Postel. This one is very cheap. Guess how much I, I got it. Cheap. 15. Very smart. I am. Seems like you stu you study philosophy. Yes, it is true. This one cost me fifteen dollars to get, which is a two ounce. Exactly fifteen. Yeah, exactly oh. fifteen. Ooh, study okay. math instead. Okay. All right. So this one cost me uh, fifteen dollars and uh, two ounces, which is very good deal. Jimmy Choo normal among all high ends because among all designer, Jimmy Choo is probably the cheapest one. So this one. Although it's a very small and it only has one ounce, which is 30 milliliters, it only cost me $21. So comparing to all the other designer fragrances, this is the cheapest one you probably can find on the market. You pay what you get. So $21, you are not expecting something like Creed Louis Vuitton level. But to be honest, I personally like it very much. Because I think it's a very gentleman smell. Um, okay, people have different tastes, but I think this one is a good fit, especially if you are like a business young man uh, yeah, in, I can tell. in your I... twenty five to thirty fives. Not 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 for any older, I guess. But uh, it's fresh and it will make you confident, make you feel like you have something. So this is um, Jimmy Choo. To be honest, I like it, but. The thing is that 
both of them, especially for this one, because this is clone. Clone usually lasts for one to two hours. So this one, um, it lasts no more than two hours. And the other, Jimmy Choo, is an oldie toilet, which usually lasts from three to five hours, and this one lasts for three hours. So longevity-wise, they are not very good. Only if you are just going out uh, for two, three hours, you can go ahead and try them. But if you are going to work, I don't suggest you to do them because not last long, not even your lunch time. These are the reviews, and thanks again for Rebecca and her honest review and her unique point about uh, men's fragrance, Jimmy Choo Man and Maximum Blue Arab Hostel. And I'll see you next time, and stay tuned. Ha <laughs>